Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's June 28th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets. Desk. Chris, thanks for taking some time. No problem. Thanks, Mike. Uh, so talking about another busy week in the new issue market, uh, kind of dominated activity in the muni market. Let me ask you a quick question before we dive into it. Last night, uh, all eyes were on the presidential debate. Any reaction to that in the market this morning? Um, from what I saw last night, there were initial uh, some, some initial steepening in the curve during the debate, but I think that was muted more this morning. I think that with the, the new issue supply and going into next week's holiday, I think it, uh, it kind of evened out. A typical story of the munis uh, do fall back on their own internal uh, dynamics uh, at almost all times in the marketplace. So let's right. talk about those internal dynamics. As we said, it was uh, kind of the last heavy week before uh, the market takes a pause next week for the July 4th holiday. What did you see? Yeah, so the munis underperformed Treasury slightly this week. It was nothing um, too dramatic in either direction, but and depending on what part of the curve you're focused on, the uh, munis uh, underperformed by six to three basis points, depending on where you're looking. We saw another week of mutual fund outflows, but still for the year, um, we're, we're heavily uh, positive with over 11 billion of inflows into mutual funds. And of course, mutual funds have been slightly less important uh, so far this year because we have seen so much activity uh, from the retail side in the SMA business. There's another report from the MSRB this past week talking about how the total number of trades is up dramatically in the marketplace. The average trade size is smaller, again, just kind of reflecting that shift to retail. Right. And we've also heard uh, some people in the market say that SMAs are starting to extend a little bit to where they're going out a few more years on their curve. So that's uh, increasing demand for those maturities as well. Yeah, that's a great point. It, you know, we've heard that uh, predicted for a few years now that as SMAs become a bigger part of the market, by necessity, they're going to have to broaden their appetite to uh, to keep finding supply. It's interesting to see that uh, playing out. That's right. Any uh, new issues stand out to you during the week? Uh, so this week, BAM had a strong week. We had over $625 million of par insured. Uh, there were 32 series at price this week, and we had some good geographic diversity pricing a deal in over 13, in 13 states. So that, that was nice to see. Um, the largest deal of the week is a $126 million Augusta water and sewer transaction. This was a competitive deal bought by Mesero Financial. Um, we also priced $100 million of the Marshfield Clinic transaction that Barclays priced. Uh, we ban priced two of the longer term bonds on the tax exempt series. That deal was priced very well. Uh, we saw that final yields were a little bit tighter than where initial um, scales went out. So that was positive. And then on the competi another competitive sale that was on the larger side, there was an $89 million Texas MUD, the Horizon Regional Municipal Util Utility District. Uh, we don't see MUDs priced in that kind of size all that often, but Samco bought that one. And it was nice to see that one priced pretty well. Great. Well, thanks for your feedback this week, Chris. We're going to take next week off. We uh, will not have a video on July 5th, but we'll be back uh, July 12th and uh, dive into the third quarter. Have a great weekend. You too, Mike. Enjoy the holiday.